Hi people, I've explained this like 3000 times already, so I'm going to make a video for it. So look here, um, we have an object here, it's completely at rest, no translation, no rotation, uh, it's at static equilibrium. Um, we are told that uh, there are three and only three forces acting on this object. There is force A acting at point A in this direction. There is force B acting at B in this direction. And the third force acts at point C. But uh, nobody knows the direction of this force. Your friend, uh, quite smart one, uh, uh, says that the force ought to be in this direction. Does your friend see something that we don't? Let's remind ourselves that for static equilibrium, net force must be zero, net moment also must be zero. And because net force is zero, we don't even have to um, calculate net moment about the center of mass of the object. We can calculate the net moment about any point we fancy and still expect the net moment to be zero. So net moment is zero about any point. Let's start with point A. Is the net moment zero about point A? If we take moments about A, then force A will produce zero moment, but um, force B will produce a clockwise moment, whereas clock C will be producing a anti-clockwise moment. So it's possible for your friend to be correct because the clockwise moment of FB may cancel the anti-clockwise moment by FC if they are the right magnitude. But we can't be sure. So how about uh, we take moments about B instead? If we take moments about B, then force B will produce zero moment. Force C will produce a clockwise moment whereas force A will produce an anti-clockwise moment. So again, um, it's possible for the net moments to be zero it's about B, but it's not conclusive. Let's change strategy, all right? Let's not take moments about A or B. Instead, we're going to take moments about here. I will call it point X. This is the point where the lines of action of force A and force B intersect. Force A and force B are not going to produce any moment about point X because their lines of action pass right through that point. So zero moments by force A, zero moments by force B. What about force C? Hey, wait a minute. Force C actually produces a clockwise moment about point X. That means the net moment is not zero about point X, right? Zero plus zero plus something is not zero. So your friend is not so clever after all. Uh -huh. Your friend anyhow say one that the, the, the direction is this way. Your friend is wrong. For the net moments to be zero, the line of action of force C should also pass through point X. Only then will FC also produce zero moment about point X. Only then the net moment about point X will be zero. Ah, that's why there's this rule, huh? That if an object experiences only three forces, those three forces' lines of action should intersect at the same point. Actually, I've been too long-winded, man. Um, the explanation can be very short. If two of the forces intersect at one point, it means those two forces produce zero moment about that point. So the line of action of the third force must also pass through that same intersecting point. In order for that force to also produce zero moment about that point, so that the total moment is zero plus zero plus zero equals zero. 
If not, this object cannot be in rotational equilibrium. Got it? Ta-ta!